Hey guys, Jay from Lead Ammunition here. Coffee. Okay, I've been meaning to make this video for a while. Um, this is a summary and history of SS198, SS195, and the confusion with 198, 195, and even 192. Okay, in a nutshell, all of the rounds I'm talking about today use the same exact 27 grain aluminum cord swaged copper jacketed hollow point bullet as in this picture slide right here. Now that being said all of these rounds use the same 27 grain copper jacketed aluminum cord swaged hollow point bullet. Okay. Now, the SS-192 is the first cartridge to go into production using um, um, this projectile. It originally came in a brown box like this. Uh, I don't have a box, uh, a sample box of SS-192, but it was stamped like this. This is the SS-191 uh, armor-piercing uh, uh, tracer, but it came in a, a, a brown box like this. Okay. Towards the end of its production, it came out in a white box like this. This is something else here. This is super rare stuff, almost non-existent. Okay. But then due to demands of law enforcement around the world and gun ranges and stuff like that, um, they switched to a lead-free primer. That came out as the SS-195LF, and it came out in a box like this. And a lot of times it had a sticker on it that was actually yellow instead of white like this. Okay. All right. The only difference between the SS-192 and the SS-195LF was the lead-free primer. For a while there in the U.S., guys used to claim that LF stood for law enforcement, all this bullshit like that. They're dumbasses. All right, they tried to uh, uh, try to pass off the SS-195LF as SS-190 steel uh, with the steel uh, the uh, uh, steel penetrator in it and stuff like that, but it's not. So, oh, and, and going back. And the 192 was 2,100 feet per second out of the 5.7 pistol. Now, you will see differences, 40, 50 feet per second uh, difference on averages. A lot of that has to do with chronographs, time, temperature, barometric pressure, all those things uh, when, when, when the tests were taken. But roughly 2,100 feet per second, okay? It was also mass-produced rounds, so they have greater variances. The SS-195 was also 2,100 feet per second out of the pistol. Now, due to political backlash and political bullshit, when FN uh, came out, uh, FN reloaded or downloaded the SS-195. At the exact same time, they reboxed it into these blue and white boxes. that are the current boxes used now, the blue and white boxes that have the same pattern and, and labeling and almost identical to the SS-197 boxes, just the one says 195LF and, and the other one says SS-197, okay? FN slowed the rounds down to about 1,900 feet per second from the pistol, with political pressure. Now, that did not bode well for FN because Elite Ammunition makes the S-4 and has made the S4, it's one of our very first rounds where we load the 27 grain, same exact bullet, 27 grain aluminum cord, jacketed hollow point, swaged bullet to its full potential. Now, we see between 25 and 2600 feet per second from the pistol, and there's been different generations of it, and I'll touch on that at the end of this video. The FN started losing more sales. Now, also, just, just to, our S4s, all of them have, are not over pressure. 50,000 PSI uh, is the K pressure max for the 5.7. Ours are 48,000 PSI at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, pressure check through a pressure barrel. Okay, and I've got the digital tests and everything to back it up. But FN started losing more sales. What was exactly happening is a new department would get 5.7s or P90s or sometimes PS90s, there are departments that use PS90s, 
And FN, who also sells the, 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 the ammo, was expecting sales uh, in the ammunition. Instead, the companies, or I'm sorry, the agencies came to us, to me, and bought our ammunition. In direct response to losing sales, FN took the 195, loaded it back to its original specifications of 2100 feet per second, called it SS-198 law enforcement, restricted, whatever, put it in a red and white box, slide here. Um, actually, no, I actually, so I see here, I should be more organized. But this is the new box. The law enforcement only designation, though, is only an FN designation. There is no legal restriction on this ammunition, okay? Uh, I'm, the, you know, I'm saying there there may be someone in the, you know, somewhere in the world or somewhere, some place where it is, but it is not. So they came out with the SS-198 in direct response to Elite Ammunition's S-4, okay? The S-4 still goes 25 to 2,600 feet per second out of a 5.7 pistol. It's still substantially faster, and there's plenty of videos showing the performance differences between the two rounds. So this is the history and confusion. People are always getting confused with SS-198, 198, 194, I'm sorry, 195. I've heard people say that, you know, oh, the, the, the one's got a brass jacket, or there's lots of confusion and bullshit out there. But the 192, 198, one, uh, 195, I'll use the same exact bullet. It's just that FN has played with the velocities over the years. Now, into that. Elite Ammunition, when we very first came out, one of our very first loadings was the S4UR. S4 Ultra Raptor, S standing for Steve Gibbons, one of the guys in the original 5.7 form. Alright, so, I loaded the S4 Ultra Raptor for a while, but one of the issues is, is PS90s have issues with popping mags and stuff like that. The, the PS90 action and system was never designed to have that full length barrel which uh, have the 6-inch barrel, the same as 10 and a half inch barrel. What was happening is the longer barrel, chamber pressures were higher, cases being extracted, magazines would pop. I have that whole uh, video on my uh, rate reducers and everything, and I'll put a link to the rate reducer video in the bottom of this, so I go in more detail explain why the issue is. Well, what I started doing is playing with the powder charges and going at slower powder charges, and I molly-coated the bullets. And I did that to try and keep the initial pressure spikes down on the 10% of PS90s that had issues. It was only about 10%. But I'm kind of fanatical about how I work, and I'm like, well, 10%, I want to work on all of them. And essentially, I gave up on that due to customer demand. People wanted the original S4 Ultra Raptor speeds. And if one out of every 10 PS90s had issues with it. The customer's like, oh, who cares? And I won't fire it in my in PS90 if I have an issue. But I also now have a solution. I have the heavier duty rate reducers, heavy duty magazine uh, catch springs. So there's actually a solution to get folks who don't or can't SBR their PS90. And also these days with the uh, Form 1 trusts and stuff like that, it's much easier for you to SBR your PS90, put in a 10 and a half inch barrel in it, and then it doesn't have any issues. So, and, and plus people really complained about how, and people complained about how messy the Molly was and everything. So I have dropped the Molly and brought the original loading of the S4 Ultra Raptor up to now this, the current S4. I dropped the Ultra Raptor just, to, just to, for simplicity. But our current S4, no Molly coat, uh, bat loaded to the original S4 Ultra Raptor velocities, that everybody wanted. It normally fun it functions just fine in all of the other platforms, all of the more modern platforms that fire the 5.7. Uh, well, most. All right. What I'm going to say right now does does not count for the Caltech. I do not recommend firing any Elite ammunition in the Caltech P50. It does not have a delayed action at all, and the the, the I you if you shoot. Elite ammunition in your P50, you're going to have issues. Now, all other modern 5.7s don't have any issues with our ammunition. The Ruger 5.7 fires our full power S4, no issues whatsoever. The CMMG Banshee, which is a great platform, we supplied research development ammunition to uh, CMMG when they're working on the Banshee, both our T6B and Devastator and S4. So that gun fires it, no issues. Okay.
Okay. So your uh, all of your modern top shelf firearms will have no issues firing the uh, Swirlitz Raptor. If you do have the rare P90 or PS90 that has an issue, you can either SBR it, uh, not shoot the S4 in it, or get a rate reducer and heavy duty magazine catch spring, and that pretty well takes care of it. Uh, if you want to take it to the next step and really make your PS90 be able to handle uh, full power loads and also heavier bullets and has to do with the length of the barrel. We are coming out with a threaded barrel shroud that uh, actually uh, increases the delayed blowback on the PS90. So it'll, you know, and I'm doing that mostly so it handles the suppressed gases and stuff better. But as a side benefit, will be if you have a magazine popping issue and stuff like that, you'll be able to put on our threaded barrel, uh, barrel shroud and be all done with it. And I'm getting off on a tangent because you know all this shit's tied together, but I wanted to keep this mostly SS195, 198 confusion. But again, SS192, 195, 198, same bullet. They just play with the velocities over time. Same bullet as in the S4 series of, 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 of bullets in, in, in the EA ammunition. And the S4 has always been faster. Uh, uh, in any of its different versions, the S4 has always been faster than the fastest SS198 ever measured. So, you know, if you guys, that's why, if you see the videos, that's why our S4 will outperform the 198 the way it does. Alright guys, otherwise, uh, Jay from Elite Ammunition, have a nice day.